Hey everybody, it's Sammy and I am back to just tell you a little bit about what's been going on, where I've been, weight loss, diet, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, basically this is the first day I've actually put any makeup on my face and I have decently done my hair and yeah, I know my hair is still a mess, but it'll do, I'm not going anywhere. I haven't actually left the house in it over three weeks now. Um, you'll have seen... If you've watched my last vlog, that it was the day that my back actually went and you can see me going through it on the day and it just progressively got worse and worse and worse. I've got two slip discs and it is um, either my nerves in between, they said, or it was pressing on it one or the other. So uh, this isn't the first time that I've had back issues. It's something that's ongoing. I'm waiting on spinal injections um, to help it. And I take medication daily anyway to um, help prevent it as well. So, yeah, basically it just progressively got worse and worse because it got to the point where I could barely move. Um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't lift my leg. Uh, my left leg is where I get it. It's because of the sciatica, because it's pressing on the sciatic nerve. Um, if you don't know what sciatica, basically it's your main nerve going down your back and your leg. <clears throat> and if something's pressing on it, then it sends pain down your leg. It goes right through your bottom, right down through the back of your calf and your knee and everything. It's, it's excruciatingly painful. Um, <coughs> so it's preventing me from walking. And, and because my back was in so much pain, I could barely move as well. It was terrible. Um, I was bed bound for pretty much two weeks of it. Um, luckily, my toilet is right there. I'm sat on my bed and my toilet is right there. We've got an en suite. Um, but even shuffling into there was horrendous. Trying to go to the toilet at some points. Well, at its worst points, I only went to the toilet like once every 12 hours because sitting on the toilet seat was so painful that even though I could, ma I, I would get myself there, like I wasn't at that stage, um, where I couldn't get myself to the toilet, I would make myself get to the toilet. And I made myself shower every day because I was like, I, I with your, when it comes to your back and things, you've got to keep moving. Um, otherwise it can seize and stuff. But um, yeah, as soon as I sat on the toilet seat, because I was in so much pain, I just couldn't go. Which was not fun at all. Because I was thinking, oh God, now I'm going to get a, a urine infection as well and all this. But um, it probably got to a week and a half where I was extremely, extremely bad. And I mean, Simon and my mum were helping. My mum came over a couple of days, but Simon's been working nights and then coming home and looking after all of us, me and both the kids, because Alf is off school at the moment, which is a tremendous help because he's been really helpful to us um, and everything. But yeah, it's, it's been rough, especially for him trying to do it. I know I've been in pain, but um, yeah, he's been, he's been amazing. Um, he's literally just done everything that he's needed to do, done all the washing, the cleaning, looking after the kids, bathing the kids. He's still bathing the kids and stuff for me at the moment because um, I still can't get up and down off the floor. I sat down on the floor for the first time yesterday and the pain just shot on my legs. So I was like, yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's not try. I'm feeling a lot better now. If you can hear my voice is a little bit raspy, my leg was extremely painful this morning. My ibuprofen gel wasn't working and I, I just took some cocoa to one in the end. I was like, I can't deal with this. I'm so fed up. I've not been able to do anything. I'm so frustrated. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, basically, I think about after a week and a half, maybe nearly two weeks, I called the doctor out to the house in the end. I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. I need the doctor out. I've never asked for a doctor to come to my house before. I always go to walk-in surgery, but I physically, I can't stand... For, well, at this point I couldn't stand for more than probably 30 seconds without being in excruciating pain and um, I was like I have to call them out to the house um, there was all a bit of a to do with the getting the doctor out or whatever but eventually she just she just turned up um, and apparently all of my back and everything was all in spasm which is why then it was obviously spasming and, and hitting on the nerve even more which is making my leg worse um, so she gave me some diazepam three days were effect. I think I took 10 tablets in total, um, which completely calmed my back down. I, I feel so much better. I feel like 120% better than I did two weeks ago. Um, but it has been a long, long time and it's, I'm still not there yet. I'm still in a decent amount of pain at times, but I am, so it seems, able to walk around a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's my back really. Um, I still haven't left the house though, 
because I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit down in the car. I'm obviously, like, I wasn't able to sit vertically for so long. I had to lie down all the time. But, like, as you can see, I'm actually sat up straight now, which is good. Um, some days I still can't do that at all. Like, yesterday I had a really good day. Um, and today, like, my leg was obviously really, really bad. And it's really frustrating for me because there's so many things, like, I'm the one who cleans the house, I'm the one who does the washing, I do this, that and the other, and it's so hard when somebody else does it because they don't necessarily do it the way they want. And then at least, obviously I am appreciative of them doing it, um, but I just want to get my hands in and get it done. Um, so I tend to overdo it a little bit on the days that I feel better, which doesn't really help me at all. So I need to, like, I have been just trying to do one thing that day or something just to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, like today, I've, my makeup on, which will make me feel a little bit better. Um... But yeah, in regards to weight loss, I've actually lost a stone. Um, in in the first two weeks, I lost twelve pounds, and in the past week, I've lost two pounds. Um, and that's all due to the fact that I've had no appetite whatsoever. Um, because I've been in so much pain, so it's not a good weight loss. As in, like I've dieted and this, that, and the other. It's not at all because it is purely because I was in so much pain and lost all my appetite. Um. Simon was making me three meals a day, whether it was just a sandwich or like cheese and crackers or whatever, but he'd leave me like laden with snacks um, and fluids and stuff. But yeah, I, I've lost a stone and, and as much as I don't get me wrong, I'm so happy that I've lost the stone. Um, obviously, some people will see that in a way as, oh, well, that wasn't a great way to lose it, but it's not really anything I can do about it. My appetite is still not great now, to say the least. I'm still not eating very much. I'm finding I'm feeling um, very nauseous sometimes during the day, but that could be the medication that I'm taking. Um, I don't take coconut oil every single day. That's not a thing I do. I've got to be in a really, really decent amount of pain for me to take it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've lost a stone, but at the same time, it's kind of good because it set me on a railroad to... I'm probably still going to lose it a bit more weight now and um, and yeah it's, it's kind of shrunk my stomach and things I definitely can't eat anywhere near as much as I could before I feel sick a lot when I eat things now um, like I'm starving now I haven't eaten today and it's 10 to 2 um, so yeah I just, I, some days I've got a little bit more appetite than others, so I'll tend to eat a little bit more. Um, I will go and eat something now, I definitely need to, and get some fluids in me and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit crazy as to what's going on. So I'm kind of happy, as I say, that it's, um, my leg's starting to go now, that it's, that I've lost the weight and that it's kind of a, a starting point for me. Um, so yeah, that's really what's been going on. So I do apologise that there's not really been any content. I have got loads of content on my PC. It's just I physically can't sit there at the moment. I might be able to today. I, I might try and have a see later, but I don't want to push it. I don't want to sit there in pain and make things worse for myself. Like Simon's, like, literally made himself to the point of exhaustion constantly to try and help me get better and things. And I don't want to make that any worse. So the baby's just woke up now, as you can probably hear. Um, so yeah, I have got a lot of content to share with you. Obviously, there's been no grocery hauls or um, not many meals of the well, no meals of the week because grabbing the camera was the last of my worries, to be honest. Um, some of the times I did grab the camera if I was feeling okay. I've missed vlogging so so much. I've missed taking pictures of the children and spending time with the kids. So yeah, that is what is going on for the moment so hopefully I will be able to edit some things and get some things done and get some content out for you so yeah that's what's been going on for the moment I really look forward to seeing you soon I hope this explains why I haven't been around and yeah let's hope we get some more content out soon uh, if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you again soon say bye bye Alfie bye bye <laughs> he's, he's under the cover <sighs> <laughs> Bye.